So there's the, big, the fat lady's arms. Uh, on Wednesdays they do like a fair factor competition. You can win like t-shirts and um, hats oh, yeah. and spot prizes. I can smell like, werewolves. Like, what, we were just about to walk past a werewolf so some shit might go down. Look out guys, don't catch fleas. What's that mate? Fika. Sorry, what? Keep going, keep walking, what? keep we walking. We heard that mate, we've got sensitive hearing. Have you? Yeah. What are you filming? It's a music video, is it? We don't want any trouble. Well, I do. You, why did you start it? Have I got your heckles up? Huh? Yeah, Why don't you go smell your own crotches, huh? Oh, come on, what are you talking about? We don't smell our own crotches, we smell each other's crotches and it's a form of greeting. You're on camera, yeah. mate, don't, don't do what? it. What? It's okay, because I know this guy. It's Count Fagula. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 don't no, no, no. swear. Sorry, they... they yeah. We're very, werewolves, not swear. What are we? We're werewolves, we're not swearwolves. Swear oh, no, it's, it's a very to offensive Anton. word it's to offensive call people. Word. Word. Well, unless What's you're it? talking about a bundle of sticks. Chase, no, this bundle of sticks. Werewolves? No, Don't no, no, get no, it. No, it's not real. It's Nathan, just... it's not real. Oh, He's just going to take, take off his gloves. That's a movie I haven't seen, by the way. Me either. No. Guilty. But it's oh! Not, <laughs> it's not bad. You've already lost one point before the show starts. Do <laughs> um, you say it's not? You lost two <laughs> points now. I hope. Which one of you two had sex with that cat? <laughs> Jesus. John! Which one of you two? <laughs> Unless Ben was here on his own. I don't think so. Hello, welcome to Just Another Horror Podcast. I'm John. I'm Ben. Cobra. And we're going to watch What We Do in the Shadows today. Or we did watch it already, <laughs> didn't we? We did watch it. We're here to review it. Oh, yeah. Right? Yes. This is your pick. This is my pick. Yeah, give us like a little small idea oh, of what this is. Okay, this... Me and my girlfriend got this from Netflix probably about two months ago. Girlfriend and I. Yep. Oh, That's you better be real careful, huh? Oh, wow. Okay, so let me start this over. My girlfriend and I, about two months ago, got this on Netflix, and it's kind of like The Office with vampires. Four different vampires live in a loft in New Zealand together for different eras of life and time periods, and it's kind of funny to watch them interact with each other. And they go out to clubs, there's like a undead party they get invited to later on, and... Vlad the Impaler is one of the vampires, and it's cool. And I, I just thought it was, it's got good horror elements, but it's absolutely hysterical. And that's why I wanted you guys to watch it to see how you felt about it. Mm. Well, I got horror. Yeah, you didn't like it. You didn't watch it. <laughs> he did tell me earlier that he watched The Creature from the Black Lagoon, Army of Darkness, and The Silence of the Lambs. Not you watched The lineup. Silence of the Lambs? When did you do that? Is that why you've been, like, dropping all your action figures into holes and trying to give them lotion? <laughs> He's like, Dad, it puts the lotion on his skin. This is pretty much like a office-type movie. It's like a... Oh, that was loud. I already forgot the rules. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, it's, opens up with a cameraman following one of the vampires around. Which one is it? I have Deacon, Viago? Viago, Deacon, and Vladislav. Viago. Okay. Peter's my favorite. <laughs> Viago is leading the cameraman around the house. They're going to have a house meeting involving dishes. Who hasn't done the dishes, I think, is basically it. Five years? Yeah, they haven't been done I in think five it's years. Five years, yeah. <laughs> and he goes to wake up Peter, who is like a Nosferatu type. Yeah, he's 8,000 years old. Yeah, he's the oldest. And he lives in a cement <laughs> tomb. stone it's... tomb in the basement. Vigo is 379 years old. He's from, like, the Victorian era. He's real prissy. Yes. Um, Deacon's 183. He's like the young... He's the young whippersnapper. <laughs> whippersnapper of the group. He's the... Arrogant one. Yeah, he's pretty funny. And Vlad the Impaler is like 840-some years old, and he's Vlad the Impaler. He's my... Actually, he might be my favorite. It's hard to pick. Cause Which one has a stash? That's Vlad. Yeah, I like Vlad. <laughs> Whenever Viago's <laughs> going around looking to talk to the people for the house meeting, he goes into Vlad's room and they're having like some crazy orgy, orgy. <laughs> something going on. Long pause there. So they're they're showing like all these cut scenes from like them in the past, and there's one like Vlad's like, we should get some slaves. <laughs> they're like, not cool, man, not cool. <laughs> um found this movie hard to take notes on because so much was happening. Yeah, because they just keep, like, side interviewing and... Well, as Wes would say, I thought it was a bunch of vignettes. But it everything pushes this it does. story forward. Because basically it's just watching vampires 
in everyday life. Well, I thought it was going one way. Uh, the first like club they go into or they try to go into, and they're the way they're dressed. They're still dressed in their period piece, basically. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, hipsters are the greatest thing. If vampires are real, hipsters are the greatest things that's ever happened to them because people don't. Like, people weren't giving them a second glance, kind of, at what they were wearing. No, and, they're just uh, like, oh, this is kind of normal. But it was it was funny, because they're trying to get into some of these clubs, and they're like, can you please invite us in? And they're like, no, <laughs> no, we can't. So there's only one club that's owned by a vampire that they can go into, and I don't even remember the club's name. Yeah, And there's only, like, five people. Yeah, there. there's, like, five, and that's the one that Deacon always wants he, to go to. He says it's the happening, <laughs> it's the happening place for vampires. They also, um... Walking through the streets, uh, we see them interacting with other vampires that are out. So. Yep. There's like, I think they say there's like 80... The Wel- Wellington, New Zealand. Yeah, 60 to 70 vampires in the Wellington region. So yeah, you get to see them out. Later on in the movie, there's like one lady who's just like sucking this guy dry. She's like, I've been sucking on this guy for days now. I just barely keep him alive. Which vampire has the, um, oh, what are they called? The human that wants to be turned deacon he's what uh what is she called is her name Jack? her she's yeah. a sir jackie, jackie. Is deacon's servant friend and she's been doing it for four and a half years because he keeps promising that she's he's gonna bite her and give her eternal but, life but it's like this metaphor for this you're just stringing this woman line mm-hmm. you know along on the line you always you don't want her around unless there's no one else around that you know, unless you can't get something else, and exactly. then you call her up. <laughs> because he's always, she's like, you promised to bite me twice, and something always comes up, and later on, someone else gets bit, and he's like, well, it was supposed to be you, but they bit Nick. <laughs> it is funny. Um, did you, oh, I, my favorite parts of this movie are the walking, I don't know if they're walking to or, to or from a place, but they're going through, like, the park, and it's dark, and you see another group coming towards them, the and werewolf? it's the werewolves, and it's like this, like, <laughs> Gang standoffs almost, <laughs> and the one wolf calls Wait, Count Facula. <laughs> <laughs> we're werewolves, not swear wolves. <laughs> uh, the werewolves were my, I think my favorite part of this movie. Oh. Those interactions. I also like the scenes where they're in front of the mirror because you can't see the reflection, so they're like doing things with little docks and. Because I feel no matter how old you were, or are. That would still be fun to... Wouldn't it? Oh, being a vampire would be fun. They fly... Like, there's one scene where they're just, like, talking around the dinner table, and Deacon and... Yeah, I don't know if it's Viago or Vlad, but they're, like, arguing, and all of a sudden they start hissing at each other and flying <laughs> in the air and chest bumping. And they're like, guys, take it down, gosh, and they're like, oh. I thought the, the effects were... Not the greatest, but they were still pretty good for probably how much money... I don't know what the budget of this film was, but... Uh, I thought the effects were pretty good. Like yeah, when they they, trans- they just transform immediately into rubber bats, basically <laughs> yeah. on a string. But or what, what? That's what it looked like, anyways. But um, so they end up. Uh, is it? Oh, they want a virgin, right? They want a what? They want Jackie to bring them a virgin. Yes, two virgins, preferably, I think. So she brings over this couple, Nick and somebody. You like Paschettis? We get, we, get, we get a Lost Boys reference <laughs> where he tries to... Turn the noodles into worms. <laughs> That's funny, too, that they reference Lost Boys, too. It uh, it, it doesn't work on chips. <laughs> Good enough. It has to be in the shape of worms. <laughs> so Nick comes over and this other girl, essentially, and they try to feed him spaghetti. I don't know what they think people... It's like Chef Boyardee's yeah, getting like, like cold spaghetti. out of the can. They're like, do you like this? And he's like, yeah, but I like it more when it's warm. <laughs> Eat the biscotti. This whole movie really is just a quote fest. Like, you can... That's all it is. You can sit here and do this. Oh, it's just so good. lines from this movie all day long. They start Pete. to attack Nick, and he's, like, running away, and he all of a sudden away, he gets yeah. out, and then Peter, from oh, the basement, comes out of nowhere. spears him, and then ends up getting him, so Nick is like, it's funny seeing him change. Being a vampire, what is, oh, all of his cracked up to be when he's, like, sad, but when he's sad, he's like, yeah! <laughs> Being a vampire's great! Well, I think at first, Telling he, everybody. at first he was happy sick. about it. Well, he was and sick, then, too. Um, oh, that, that was horrific. Like, you see these black blood clots going up his neck. <laughs> 
Um, but he's very brash about being a vampire, and he's telling everybody. And The other three don't like him at all. Especially uh, Deacon doesn't like him. Because mm-hmm. he's the new young kid. He even wears a jacket similar to Deacon's, and De- Deacon like tries to take up a house vote or like, tell him he can't wear that jacket. And eventually he brings his friend, he tells his friend Stu that he's a vampire and Stu doesn't care. So it's like brings, coming out of the closet. He brings like, Stu yeah, to the flat to live with them. And they and all love what, Stu. This is what I think is the best part of the movie. Oh, that Stu? Stu is a human walking around with all these vampires and they just, they're like, They like him way Nick. more than they Yeah, we Nick. hate Nick. But <laughs> Stu's so cool, we're going to let <laughs> Nick hang around with us because Stu. We get the bat fight between... Uh, Deacon and... Well, they're all out in clubs, and this is when Nick is telling everybody that he's a vampire. You know, one guy goes, oh yeah, I'm a vampire hunter. And he's like, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah. I'll call you, or I'll shoot me your email or something. <laughs> at one point, I think Nick eats a fry or a potato chip, and, and he, he just starts, starts blood. vomiting blood that's, everywhere. That's what it is, he ate something. Yeah. And that's when he starts getting all pissy, because he didn't realize... What all goes into being yeah, a vampire? Yeah, yeah, can't eat like, my favorite food. Yeah. <laughs> Don't believe the hype. <laughs> That's what he says. Um, we get the storyline of uh, uh, who's the one that actually sleeps in the casket? Peter. No, the wooden casket. He's the one that. Oh, Viago, the one in love. <laughs> yeah, he. Uh, we get the backstory of this uh, woman that he was in love with. He followed her to Wellington. Yep. I think. Well, his coffin. His. His. Alfred Butler guy was supposed to send him to Wellington, I think, but he got sent oh, yeah. to the wrong spot and it ended up 18 months before he got there and then she had already <laughs> fell in love and got married. We see him... We see that all this... Uh, is it Stu brings... Or is it... Uh, no, it's... Um, Rap. Who, I didn't write names down. Who's I'm the one they like? Gladys? Oh, Nick. No, the Stu's human. Stu's the human. Nick... Oh, Stu brings over... Like, he introduces him to all this new technology... Oh, yeah. <laughs> like Skype and stuff. And they can finally see the sunrise on a YouTube video. And I thought that was hysterical. But we see, as you said, Viago is printing off a picture of his lost love. And he hangs it on his casket and he shuts it. And, and yeah, yeah. the door starts <laughs> bumping up and down, yeah. There's also a part where, like, after Nick gets bit, that's when Deacon tells Jackie that. He can't bite her now because Nick just got bit and he took her place. And she's like, it's a bunch of dick biting club in there. <laughs> oh, there are facts. <laughs> Wrestling around with each other. Tickling. So, um, one morning they wake up and Peter... He's on fire. He is on fire in the basement. And they can't get him and he so, burns up. And it's because Nick... The that vampire, that hunter. vampire hunter was yeah. an actual vampire hunter. And he ended up trying to get Peter and then... They're really loud, so the cops were called, and they oh show up, God. and they, through the movie, they've been trying to hypnotize people, but they actually do hypnotize the cops into being like, oh, there is nothing to see here, this is just, you know, He's not very fire alarm, He's you gotta got get this fire detector. concrete slab on him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta, he's just passed out. Yeah, because there's that, they, they do a pretty good job with, like, the vampires are all tense, and the one cop's like, I, I see what's going on here, and you think it's... Yeah, because they're still, like, floating in the yeah. air in one of the scenes or flying. And then that's when he says, you don't have any smoke detectors in here. <laughs> <laughs> did you get, I got a Melissa McCarthy vibe off that female cop. No? No. I did. Oh, I don't like Melissa McCarthy. I probably wasn't actively, like, for her at all. I do not like Melissa McCarthy. He's not funny? Yeah, she is. No. Bridesmaids, no good. Overrated. No, she's good. Do you disagree? So no, she, no, no, no. The, the Heat with Sandra Bullock? Ugh. That was funny. I don't really like Sandra Bullock either. I gotta help both you. That just seemed really awful, that whole idea. <laughs> okay, so because it I'm was... Just, I don't like Melissa McCarthy. No. Because it was Nick's fault you. that the vampire hunter came there, they decided to kick him out. They say Stu can stay, I think. Yeah, they want... Yeah. They like hanging out with Stu. But, uh... Yeah, they, they have to publicly shame him, which involves them... Circling him. Circling him. him. Shame, 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 shame. shame. So he leaves, and then uh, I think at some point he gets Jackie to turn into a vampire. Well, I mean, here we go. Later, so they get this big letter that there is this big undead ball, ball. Mm-hmm. that involves and... vampires, zombies, and what else? Isn't there one more group? Werewolves, right? No, I don't they're think not the werewolves. Invited. Yeah, the werewolves aren't mm. invited. 
I think Vlad heard that he's going to be the guest of honor this year. But he's not. But he's not. And then that brings up the beast. So, <laughs> when Vlad finds out he's not going to be the guest of honor, they it's the night of, and they're all dressed. And, he and they go to real. get him, and he ate, like he turns around, and they're all like, whoa! <laughs> and it's like, what happened there? He just got depressed? I think so. <laughs> Pauline is the beast, his ex-wife who stabbed him through the heart. I assume uh, that's what really happened to him in real life. Um, so they take Stu. He's to, there at the undead party. To the undead party. Deacon runs into Jackie, and she's a vampire, and he's like, how'd you... And Nick bit <laughs> Jackie, <laughs> and then Deacon is more mad at Nick again. Mm-hmm. That feud always goes on. He's like, you could have asked me, you know. <laughs> but uh, Stu is also at this party, which is not good, because Stu is a... Human. <laughs> so he kind of sticks out, and uh, all the all the monsters at the party, starting with like an old zombie guy, I guess, start figuring out this dude's human. Yeah, and the beast. So yeah, and the beast wants to get some of that. So <laughs> yeah, they notice that his cheeks are real rosy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody is like starting to gang up on Stu, and they're all ready to attack him, and uh, that's when who was the other one? Vlad. Mm-hmm. He, he shows up. He shows up and starts yelling at... Dressed like Liberace or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> starts yelling at his ex, the Beast. He says something like, I'm the last person you slept with or something. And she's like, she named somebody else. He's like, no, Vlad. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, oh. I was watching the U.S. mixed doubles curling against Switzerland while I was trying to watch this movie, so... Oh, wow. Stu stabbed a vampire. I take Winter Olympics very seriously. I'm not watching them. The NHL's not there. I... Fuck them. That's your protest. Yeah, they're uh, <laughs> they're using the right to go to the Olympics as a bargaining tool for the next lockout. Uh, they also want China. They don't want they don't want that market in South Korea because the games would be on at different times. They wouldn't be live, but they want China because they sure. want that mar- they want that market for the KHL. <laughs> Sorry, got off track. <laughs> uh, where, okay. Where were we? Uh, Stu stabbed a vampire. That's right. The I think it's the Beast's current boyfriend. Oh, yeah, that twerp. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Stu stabs him, and now they all gotta run. And we run into the werewolves in the park, and they're starting to chain themselves up because there's a full moon coming. <laughs> this is a great scene. It is a good scene. I thought there were uh, pretty decent transformations for the budget of this movie. Yep, and uh, some of them get loose. And Poor Stu. Stu and the cameraman, yeah. <laughs> so, But it's okay because Stu becomes a werewolf. So, everything's fine. It's got the Everything scar is fine. But Deacon face. has a serious talk with Nick about losing Stu. Because you, you don't know that Stu is a werewolf right away. You think he just got mauled, yeah. Because the police show up. They think it's a dog I attack. Do. It's a it's stray dog, dog attack. And like, <laughs> this happens they get, they get every, this, once a month or something. Or something. They get this most lovable looking dog, the most innocent looking dog. And they're just like <laughs> shaming like him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So yeah, at the very end of the movie, Stu is a werewolf, and he brings all those werewolf guys over, and the vampires have him in, and they party, and they're like, once you get past the smell, it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> we thought they'd just pee everywhere. Yeah, please. Post credits, the Beast and Vlad get back together, and he's like, and then you remember why you didn't want to be with them in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch post credits. There's a post credits scene. Well, it's, I, I think it's during the credits. Yeah. yeah, they start fighting in the hallway. So that's it. That's what we do in the shadows. So uh, would you give it, John? Me? Uh, I gave it an eight. I thought it was really fucking funny, and there was some interesting, you know, horror effects and shit like that. As a horror movie, it wasn't scary. It wasn't suspenseful, but it was fucking entertaining as fuck. <laughs> so, and it was very, very funny. So I would probably put this. In the same category as a movie like Dracula Dead and Loving It or something like that. This Have is you... way better than Dracula it's Dead and Loving It. It's better, I'm just saying I it's think the same this kind is, of movie. I think this movie is just below, pro. well, I think it's better than, but just below like a Shaun of the Dead type yep. movie. Yep. Yeah, I was going to say, like, that's what I was going to ask. But this. I would think it's better than that, just because... <laughs> I like vampires more than zombies and stuff. I was going to ask how you compared it to, like, a Shaun of the Dead. Like, if you had interviews in Shaun of the Dead, would this be the same? Kinda. I think it is. Like, because I think British humor and 
Well, yeah, New Zealand. Kiwi humor, very similar. It's not the proper nomenclature. Can I say that? I think, but... <laughs> Is that racist, Kiwi? <laughs> racist against New Zealanders? Who fucking cares? Well, this is our third movie we watched from New Zealand. That's true. What were the the one? Housebound. That was a Dan request, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The first one was that was my very first. The episode ugly with you guys. The ugly was the other one. Yep. Yeah. Simon. Hey, that was weird. Dude, we Still don't get it. I like it less every time I watch it. All right, Ben, when did you, you watch get this it one? More than once. I've seen it quite a few times. It's long though. So. Yeah. Uh, I agree. I I would go with eight out of ten. It was much better that it, it was for the dread that you get out there today the stuff that comes out and you just pick through it like i thought it was a pretty decent concept to to make this mockumentary of and it makes fun of vampires because it's vampire culture starting to go away i think i don't know i hope so there's a kid show well, this now. was made i think so, in 2014 was it 2014 yeah 2014 um, I was gonna say way earlier. Than there's that. a kids show now called Vampirina. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah, she lives in Pennsylvania actually. Yeah, yep. <laughs> um, uh, She's just a I cartoon. Thought, Don't be too scared. I thought all the, <laughs> I thought all the characters were quite likable. Um, I agree. Like, if this was American produced, I probably would have hated this movie because it would have The humor just would have sucked. Like trying to put American humor into this. American um, humor is farts. Yeah, pretty That's much. That's true. Well, you'd also have an absolute... Just basically all of them would have been unlikable. Because I feel we're probably unlikable. Um, I don't like you. <laughs> I, I don't really say, like you, yeah. too. Um, but uh, I thought... I don't think it was a very high budget. I thought they did an excellent job, like you said, with, with the We uh, forgot effects. to talk about one of the best parts. I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, go, go back. Nick... While he's like showboating being a vampire, he's in this store and this clerk's like, "Oh yeah, I'm a vampire too," <laughs> and he's like morphs his face and scares the <laughs> fuck out of this guy. And he's like, "Don't joke about that, man." <laughs> and there's like the look on the clerk's face is like, <laughs> "Oh <laughs> my god." <laughs> Sorry. Because as a gas station store clerk, you and somebody comes in and. It's in your face telling you they're a vampire. You'd probably just be like, whatever, dude. Yeah. Like, I'm a vampire, too. <laughs> My favorite scenes were the werewolves. Yeah. I, that, that, the that, interaction between them. The, the banter back and forth between them. The insults being thrown, I thought, were hysterical. Uh, it's definitely worth a watch. But, again, it's not... There might be, like, one jump scare. I think, like, when when uh, Peter <laughs> jumps on Nick. Out Pretty of, much anything with Peter. Yeah, it's like... Out of the cop in the beginning. That oh, yeah, was even funny, in the beginning, though. Yeah, there's like... He's there's trying like, to wake him up. Just a couple jump scares, so other than that, it's... It's not meant to scare anybody. No, but they didn't They didn't so. overuse it, either. Right. And there's one scene, too, like where they're just doing cut shots around the house, like, Viago is, like, brushing Peter's, like, fangs that are hanging out <laughs> while he's sleeping. I'm gonna... Just to have a social... I was gonna give it an eight and a half, but to have a social, I'll give it an eight... I think this movie is very funny with good horror elements um, for the budget. I recommend it. And the new there's going to be a new TV series, I think, on FX. Yep. What we do in the shadows. So we'll see what they can do Watch with the it. movie and maybe get ready for the show. This, I, this movie is just really good. And me and my girlfriend have watched... My girlfriend and I have watched a lot of bad movies probably in the past three months because we've been... And I get linked or text... Every time them you watch out. one. And we'll do that. I'll have a little segment later where I just tell you what not to watch. And I'll run through about 20 movies that I've watched in the past year. Oh, shit. <laughs> Cobra's What Not to Watch. That's right. <laughs> That's There's cool so segment. many bad ones, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. We, oh, like that Mother movie was terrible. 1922 was terrible. Oh, you saw Mother? It, That's Aronofsky. split audiences yeah. right in half. Like, yeah, I knew you were either for like you either liked it or you hated it. It's I, way too artsy fartsy biblical for me. And he's kind of like um, Aronofsky, but And then it Pies it really comes great. at night I love Pies. was yeah, terrible. Oh yeah. I did that... finally see that. You were right, nothing came. Like one dude came <laughs> yeah. and then he brought his family and the whole time they're like waiting for something, but mm -hmm. there's no you don't know what the disease is that's killing people, you don't know anything that's going on, and they just Shackle up in a house for fucking two hours. Great. Well, you're, uh, you're spoiling your list here, though. So. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. That's true. 
That's just help. that's just a preview. There's so many more bad movies I just watched. <laughs> There's so much more that you shouldn't pay attention to or watch. <laughs> All right, uh, that's it for this episode. If you want to get a hold of us, uh, facebook.com backslash horrorcasting. We're on Twitter at horrorcasting. Our shows are now on YouTube for the time being until we see how things go. And then maybe I'll put us back on iTunes again. I don't know. We'll see. What do you think, Ben? I don't have an opinion. Oh, okay. <laughs> did over. anybody listen on iTunes? Uh, yeah, they did. Oh, really? So, we'll see what happens. They YouTube is just so easy to access, though. Well, yep, they it's say easy to the... share, it's easy to do everything with. So. They so. say that the YouTube is the... I know a lot of people listen to different podcasts on... a great place to on... show corpses hanging in the suicide forest. Oh. Yeah, yeah. that guy... Yeah, that was my idea. It was your idea? He stole it? Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna go to Japan and... Oh, your YouTube page would have been shut down if you didn't. <laughs> yeah. So. All right, and also, uh, horrorcastings at gmail.com. We did get an email for a different movie, so. Ooh. Yeah. What movie? Uh, what movie? What movie we're doing it next? Follows. It Follows. Yep. So, yeah. they. We'll see what they thought. I think one of us will agree with them. All right. Thrill me.